What's up YouTube, it's Adrian from MMO's World bringing you another recap of all the major MMORPG news that happened throughout the week. So sit tight and soak it in. Let's start the week with arguably the biggest MMORPG news in months. Magic the Gathering, one of the world's most popular, if not the most popular tabletop card games of all time, is getting its own AAA MMORPG. Yes, you heard that right. Developers Cryptic Studios alongside Perfect World Entertainment and Wizards of the Coast have all announced the new game, which is in development and will feature action combat gameplay. The game will be set in the Magic the Gathering universe, which fans will be eagerly anticipating. That means locations, monsters, and characters that you know and love from the card game will make an appearance in fully rendered 3D. Oh hell yeah! On top of that, the website claims that the game will be absolutely free to play. For more news on the new Magic the Gathering MMORPG, stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel as we'll be monitoring this real closely. Moving on, the much-anticipated Bless Online, a Korean MMORPG, will not be debuting in North America or Europe. The publishing deal between Area Games and the Bless developers have been cancelled, according to various Korean MMO news sites. This is some pretty unfortunate news as a lot of players were looking forward to BO, as it had the potential to be the next Black Desert Online in terms of gameplay. The rumor is that the game would like to focus on its Japanese release later in the year, but strangely enough, the game has not been doing so well outside of Korea. Only recently, the Russian servers were shut down, and it was the only country besides Japan to have the game published within it. One has to wonder if this is a sign that the Korean MMO market is in decline or the game isn't as good as we think it is. Up next, we've got good news for all you Final Fantasy fans. Game director Yoshida has revealed in a recent interview that Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, will be making its way to both the Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. This is huge because it's not often that Sony and Square Enix share the spoils of their prize with other platforms. With how Final Fantasy XIV has been doing for the PC recently, and with the launch of their second expansion Stormblood looming, this is no doubt good for publicity and will attract a whole new set of audiences for their MMORPG. Yoshida has also gone on to say that they are still in the discussion stage with Nintendo and Microsoft, but there are some concerns about sharing responsibility. We wonder what that means. Over at our latest poster boy for the MMO genre, Ashes of Creation's Kickstarter campaign has finally come to an end this week after a month. And within that time, the game has raised an astounding $3.2 million in funding from around 19,000 backers and pledgers. Not bad for an initial goal of 750 k What's great is that the game also had every stretch goal they set out, meaning that the final product will have a lot more content, features, and gameplay inclusions that the fans and gamers want. On top of that, some industry veterans have also joined the team too. Ashes will be finished in late 2018, so now the waiting begins, but we'll keep you guys updated for all the major Ashes of Creations happenings. Stay tuned. Now on to the next story and Battleborn, the online multiplayer shooter in the mold of Overwatch, has announced that the game will be free to play moving forward. While the developers refuse to use the term free to play, the model technically is, well, free to play. Players can now jump in without an entry fee and there will be no time limits or level caps. You can choose from only 6 heroes but they do go on rotation weekly. Additionally, content can be unlocked in-game through progression or purchased a la carte from the in-game store. For players who already purchased the game and release, it sucks, I know, but don't fret, you will be rewarded with a founder status. This gives you legendary gear, premium currency, credits, and loot packs too. So if you've been holding out on checking this game out, it's time to jump in because it's free. And that wraps up our major MMO news recap for the week. For more MMORPG news as it happens, head on over to our website at MMOsWorld.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMOs World, signing out.